Check out this box. It's got the key and everything. Oh, These things average like 15 plus bucks a piece. They're American Legion. Look at this right here. 18 karat gold over sterling silver. Got this 1863 Indian head penny. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages. <laughs> We're gonna help Storage Scott have an auction, so we're here to take a look at his stuff, make a quick video, and get ready for the auction tomorrow or today, whatever day it is. And look, Pirates, it's another storage unit. Man, we're always in storage units. Scott has a lot of boxes. Look at all oh, that silver. Who don't like silver? People do or don't? No, I was, I was oh, who don't like you say it, and then people be like, I do, or. I don't. This is a uh, looks like Native American. It's a uh, tie clip, yeah. The 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 style of it. Costume or buckles? What is that? This so this is a hodgepodge of stuff. There's neckties. There's a gun thing. There's a yeah. There's a holster. Wow. Bunch of just odd silver stuff. spoon. There's a, a starting pistol gun. Interesting. Like a real starting pistol gun. Holocaust. These are all old military pins Ooh. along with the hat. That is neat. That's one cool lot in one of my nice fancy trays. I don't know if you noticed, uh, but I no. bought all this weird little. That's why I, I noticed how you did it, Miss Bell. Oh, you took the effort to do it all. Oh, you got even wrote on the. Look Dude. at that. Look. Okay. Junk. <laughs> Junk is good, though. I know. Look at this. Oh, yeah. This. That's interesting. This is the good bag. That's all good. Like a lot of it's gold filled stuff. It's all vintage. There's some nice stuff. Came with a note too? Because that's one not your writing. One piece has a note on it. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I can tell you're writing. <coughs> that's mostly silver. Some nice pieces. Look at that. that. Some questionable. Look at the Zippos. Wow. Stack you know, people like Zippos. Zippos are expensive. They retail for like 20, 30 bucks. Oh, and I, one or two of them are gold. One of them is. That was an expensive one. Real gold? No. Oh. Oh, look at all these rings. Costume jewelry. The 200 Club. That's Cuff neat. links. Cuff links? Are you, <laughs> <laughs> you did actually Hot separate it. Hot earrings. Foreign coins. And uh, these are these are good watches. These are good watches. Vintage oh, yeah. Watches. Timexes and stuff. <laughs> Nice. I don't know if you want to do this kind of stuff. I don't know what if is you it? Want to do that. Um, I could try it. I've never done something like this. The car, that one's cool. We're sitting on the hood of the old Model T. Stay tuned to the end of this video. I will put them all in the trays, and you will see everything. I'll do a quick run through, real quick as well. This is neat. We'll either put this on eBay or on the live auction. A ball of shells turned into a flower. From Marshalls. <laughs> that is a trip. What do you guys think something like this is worth? It says JJBLM 16A22RN Distoto Lisbon. I wonder what all that's for. Check out this box. It's got the key and everything. Oh, jewelry. Oh, shoot. No way. Oh, Oh, Too bad there's no Tiffany. Yeah. Somewhere in there is, though. I haven't found it yet. Mm -hmm. Is this all from the same unit? Yeah. Oh, ooh. Go. Mm, no. Chai clips. Pins. Pin, little maybe. buttons. It's like a Gucci band almost. Oh, cool. It's Pulsar. It has that Gucci color, though. I told knife. I told Scott that I got a knife. I go in my truck, I come back, I got all the pieces to a knife, but I have no blade. <laughs> this is storage auction pack. Storage, this is uh, Kermit the Frog reporting live from the Three Bears house. <laughs> we are done here. I'm gonna go home. Scott filled up my entire truck, already closed the team It's full front to back, top to bottom. There's gonna be a big auction, and as well, I'm gonna show you everything. So yeah, say bye to Scott. Bye. Let me help you. Look at Scott working hard. That's money, guys. He's right there. Let me help you.
So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the crib here at the Casa Pirate's Lair, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go through some of this stuff. I'm going to lay these all out and some of these other things. And I'll be able to get a little bit of research for you. And then we're going to go through all these things that I have. I'm going to put them in the trays real quick. And I'll give you a good detail of them. And I'll let you give you some an idea of some of the other stuff. Holy smokes. I'm taking a quick break. I have everything set. about to make my end of my video. I had to come out to show you guys. Look at what it's like out here right now. This is unlike California. I don't know what this is. Blowing. I'm, I'm afraid the trampoline is going to blow. This is crazy. It is like almost 10 30 at night i'm still i just got done setting up everything for the auction we'll do a quick run through just trying to relax and hustle grind and wine it is it's, it's never ending everybody's like pirates you need to get some sleep pirates you're tired i can't stop i i don't know how to stop working just sit here in my garage drinking a corona i'm like the native american me because i have and many people not and i know this but i'm navajo indian like almost 20 percent. and the native americans believe that when you eat poison oak little bits amounts, you become immune to it. So my brain told me if I drink Corona, I can't get Corona. I don't know if that's true, but it's just something I'm practicing, my own little experiment here. Anyway, let's get started. One of the first lots is little earrings. I'm, I'm gonna mash these up a little bit. I didn't get a chance to set these up all purpose. Like one of the last things I did, we gotta, this will be one of the first lots, a bunch of earrings. You come in here and you look at this. We're gonna try something different. These are old crystals. Different various ones. These could be very pricey, especially if they have any type of signature in them. I've not even looked at them, it's just a bag Scott gave me. What's that? Come over here. That's money. That is money right there. Got some foreign coins, got some Indian head pennies, got an old $5 bill, and you got some foreign money there. You come through here and we just got some crazy stuff. I'm talking, look, foreign coin money, all sorts of euros and many more. That's going to be a fun one to do. This has got we call a random lot. You got a gun holster, you got some old cigarette lighter cases, you got a knife, you got an old mailbox key, you got the world's smallest knife. Look at that. This right here will work in a pinch, like literally it'll pinch your finger. Random unicorn, money clip, business card holder, all sorts of very, very fine things there. You come over here and look at this. We got a set of these things. We're going to do this in a lot right here. Now, also, some of the things you may see are not going to be in a complete lot. They're just in a tray. I haven't quite decided. But the most important thing was set it up and get ready because it's already 1030 at night. And I got to edit this video, get it ready to release at 8 in the morning, and then get ready to have an auction at 10. This is a choice watch here. Check this out. That is an Omega. This watch tops out at like 300 bucks in perfect condition and stuff like that. We're going to auction that. These will probably be one lot. Then you come over here and we got a couple lots here. This is vintage costume jewelry. Those are just rings. And then you got some old gold filled stuff here. These pieces are gold filled. Like this one right here almost looks like real gold, but it's just gold filled. This one here is gold filled. You got some nice pearl vintage stuff here. You come over here and we got a little random bit of silver. Broken pieces, random single special made earring. Also, a belt buckle lot. Belt buckles are nice. Don't ever underestimate belt buckles. You come over here and you got a small little random ring on. This is all costume jewelry, costume rings. But then we got this cool little cuff link and tie clip lot. That one will be one lot for itself by itself. That will be one lot by itself because I think it's pretty neat and it's all the same motif. You come over here and we got one huge pin lot, right? Who don't like pins? I know there's a lot of everybody out there who likes to buy the pins. They're very fun, very old. This is all old stuff Scott found. You come over here and we're gonna do a lighter lot. Zippos. All sorts of flavors. One of my personal favorites, this will be at about maybe two to three lots because these are very expensive. These things average like 15 plus bucks a piece. They're American Legion. Very neat. Very unique. Haven't seen a lot of these. We got this old Okinawa hat, also has an American Legion pins on it. And then there's this right here. So the hat and this thing will be one lot for sure. And then this will be two or three lots, but that's well worth it. So these things are averaging like 15 plus bucks a piece. You come over here and we got some really good condition, three Beatles albums, the second Beatles album and Beatles. Those three will be a lot. Like I said, that will be one lot there. You come over here and we got some really neat sterling silver pieces really quality sterling silver pieces he's been fine literally guys most of this came out of his entire week he bought he bought 11 units put the good stuff in the storage took the trash away and then asked me to help him because it's been hard for him to sell stuff and he don't have internet usage the same way i do and all the accounts so because of course scott i'll gladly help you out these are really nice look at these 
Real nice stuff there. Then you come over here and you got this lot of silver here. This is all silver pieces. Maybe most of it'll be one lot. That's like a gold toned silver piece. It is marked silver. I like these hearts. This is a vintage bracelet, very heavy. Probably do that by itself just because I'm unsure how I'm gonna do it. It's gonna go as I, as I go, I'm just gonna wing it kinda as I always do. These are some really good pieces. I think there's some Native American pieces here. This one's JM. That's a good turquoise ring. This stuff adds up. That's like, I think a Native American tie clip. This one's neat. It's like a, on a woven string. It's got a buffalo nickel, and then it has a U in the back on the head. One singular salt and pepper shaker. Look at this right here. 18 karat gold over sterling silver. Interesting belt buckle. These right here are nice. That is a 10 karat, and I believe that to be diamond. Hopefully Benji will bring his diamond tester over for me in the morning. But I believe that to be diamonds. Definitely mark 10 karat. And look at this piece here, guys. This is exquisite. This is, I believe, Navajo. It's marked L. Tom Sterling. Very heavy. Very nice. It actually goes with this watch set here that says Native Chance or something. But it's also another band, but it's kind of broken. It needs a pin to go back in here. So I'll sell that as a set. Very nice stuff, guys. So we're not done. We're not done. Look at this. We got a coin lot. Sterling silver and 40% silver coins here. Then we come in here and we got this 1863 Indian head penny. 1863. That is just phenomenal right there. You come in here and you got this one. It says 1812. One cent, 1812. United States of America. That is just, wow. I don't even think I've seen one this old before. Here, right here, we got a heck of books. Look at that Lincoln cent. Come in here and wow. It's a whole book of pennies from 1941 to 1969. Basically complete. That's got to have a few dollar value there. So that will be a neat one to auction off. Probably by itself. You come in here and you got this Lincoln red scent. Not very many, but there's still a few. So I have to roll with the punches. Jefferson Nichols. Some are falling out. I'll have to put that back together. Let me see if I can open this page up carefully. Boom. That's not bad either. Like I said, you guys want to see this stuff. It'll be on Pirate Auctions. This will come out at 8 in the morning. And that will be on my other channel at 10 a.m. It'll be going for several hours. But you're going to want to be there. Because look at that. Look at all those sterling silver dimes. Mercury dimes. This is nuts. Lincoln Head Scent Collection. Started 1941. Number 2. So this is a second book. Come on, Michael. There we go. This right here is going to be a good one, too. Nice little old photo album book. People went to the beach. Lots of car photos, tropical photos, swimsuit photos. And it's basically a whole little neat photo album. There were some car photos. I might have skipped them already. We're going to show you some crazy items right here, though. Some of these items right here are going to end up on my eBay, though, because here's an example. This set of clocks right here, this is over $1,000 on eBay. They could be about a $1,400 a pair. This one needs to be a little cleaned, but I'm not going to do all that. But I could tell you this stuff right here, Chelsea ship clocks, these are very pricey. I have to put those on eBay, I'm pretty sure, just to get the best value on them. Some things I can't just let go and take half and a third when they're just, that's a lot of money right there. This sword right here is some form of a made in India, I believe. I forget what it says. It's not a true genuine sword like the next two I'm about to show you. These next ones here are big bucks. First, showing you this one. It says, what does it say? I can't read it. August, Augusta for Buxel, Bruxel. Maybe it's a European sword. Very old, though. It's in decent shape. But it should be a several hundred dollar sword just by itself right there. But the next one, this sword here is worth over a thousand dollars. I've seen them sell on eBay for 600 in bad condition. And I've also seen them sell for a thousand on other websites. It's a mid-1850s. 
U.S. Navy Civil War sword. It's got markings almost everywhere. Making it genuine. Look at that. NJ. All the things you want to see for one of these swords. 1863. That's where we're at. USNDR. Now, most of the time when you see them sell for eight, nine hundred, they don't have these type of blades like this. It's usually pretty mangled, pretty rusted. This one here is in exquisite shape. Let's see if it matches up. So the tip's still intact, too. It's not, if you look, it's not been shortened and cut. The scabbard. Look at that craftsmanship. This right here is over $1,000. This one has to go on my eBay. That piece has to be on my eBay because it's just, I know I'm getting well over a thousand on eBay. This right here is an old harpoon. Tell me that thing ain't unique. Very unique. And this piece right here, this one will end up on my eBay as well. This piece is super rare. I'm seeing them sell for $1,600, $1,700. It needs to be polished up underneath that is brass. You can see it's brass there. But it's an old Lipson. Lipson ship barometer. This thing is the money. Right? See how it has mercury in the inside of it? It hangs on the ship like this. And then you can move it. It'll balance itself. Very, very pricey piece right here. This thing is goes upwards of $2,500. I saw one on first dibs. That is all big bucks right there. Very pricey stuff. We got a couple little lots of stuff here. Some Batman cards. And these look like garbage pail kids. I don't think they are, but they're very similar. Unsure. I got a whole stack of those. Then we got all these Nintendo games. Ooh, look at that. Look at all those Sega games. That'll be one lot as well. I'll just do probably one lot of Sega games. We'll see. Maybe two. You guys tell me in the comments section. Would you rather see that in one big lot or two lots? Those are some amazing storage finds right there. Scott buys a lot of units. He buys some good ones, some bad ones. He buys hard workers, easy ones. He told me that this most of this stuff came from his least expected unit he bought, but that's the way it works. Most of the stuff went to the dumps he bought. This is just a portion of what we got, though. This video will come out probably tomorrow. Those three boxes right there probably hold $3,000 in collectibles. I'm not going to tell you what kind, but those are some amazing treasures, and they'll probably be on the Sunday's auction. There's this pile still to go through here. All sorts of amazing 49ers and other sports teams. And then there's all this other great treasure right here. Still to be untouched. We're going to go through, make the video, and then we'll hold an auction. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget the like button, share button, subscribe, say something pretty. And if you don't already subscribe to Pirate Auctions, you will want to if you want to partake in the auctions. I love y'all. Hit the like button, share button, subscribe, say something pretty. Shout out to Scott. I love y'all. <sighs>